All right, I just want to quickly show what I have here for Betaflight for all my settings in here. Uh, so, of course, uh, most of it's default that I set it as. What I did is, of course, I had to plug in my battery before I plugged in my computer to the flight controller because the receiver did not turn on if I didn't have the battery plugged in. But now it works. I plugged the battery in, then plugged in the computer. So, then what I did in my transmitter, I'm going to go... Over here, I've got my Wizard 215 model, and of course I've got that bound to my receiver here, okay? And now if I go to page, you can see that, skip that, skip that. Here I added the arm switch, which is gonna be this one right here, right? And then I also added this one here, which is this switch which is for modes and uh, the two those two positions the ones on the far edges are going to be angle mode and then the middle is acro because uh, acro is the default so that's just basically not set to anything in the middle and that's gonna be acro so basically just gotta head um, had to put both of those course into my inputs and then also just had to put them in my mixer just you just click them and they show up so that I would have them there that's all I have for my transmitter and then in here uh, I didn't do anything in setup reports I went to configuration and uh, I didn't have to do anything with this I changed I didn't change anything there either all I did was I turned off some of the other stuff and turned on OSD I mean, I think the OSD was on already. I didn't really do much at all. Uh, I think some other stuff was on that I turned off. Um, and then I turned on these two beepers, just in, so if I lose it, right? And I didn't turn on any. I turned off all the other stuff because I didn't know. I don't remember. I don't remember exactly what was on, but I turned them all off. Then for power and battery, I didn't do anything. But oh, also under configuration, I changed the name of my craft my name and didn't do anything in PID tuning but I should put some expo in I just don't know exactly how those values work and now it's beeping at me I don't know why um, <laughs> then in receiver I had to change it to the uh, spectrum actually even though I have a FR sky because that put the channel map to TAER of course so that made it so I have my actual throttle as my throttle, and then of course roll and pitch and yaw. So set that up. Then I went to modes and I set arm for of course this switch here. And then I set my angle for those two values there. So of course now it's an acro angle on the bottom one. It's angle. You can see on the bottom. And then in the middle, nothing. And then there, of course, it's going to go into angle. So that's all I have set there. I don't really know what the other modes do. I mean, I know what head free does. I don't really know what the others do that much. And I don't really care anyways. And now it's beeping at me. I don't know why, but I, it likes to beep at me every once in a while. <laughs> don't know exactly why. After I've had it plugged in for a while, it will beep at me. It must be something to do with the battery or something. I don't know. But that's all for this. Uh, I got my motors going, so, and then for my OSD, this is the final thing, is mine actually came with most of the stuff disabled, I know version 2 came with pretty much everything enabled, and version 1 also had everything enabled, but I have version 3, uh, and got it in December of 2018, so, uh, I turned on RSI value, Main battery voltage, the crosshairs, artificial horizon, horizon sidebars, timer 2, which of course is going to be for the total armed time, and then the craft name, which of course I have set to my name, the current draw, warnings, just, you know, just in case, just gotta have that warning, so like low voltage right there is gonna be one of them, average cell voltage, which I have right below my total voltage, and uh, compass bar, which of course is right there, got my sidebars, Got my name right here, which I should probably move over a little bit. There we are. And then my total flight time, and then my amps RSSI up there. 
And that's pretty much it. Let me save that. That's it for my Betaflight configuration of the Isshin Wizard TS215. This is the third version that they did, which has the, of course, in the second version, they got this new uh, DVR with these big capacitors. So, yeah, that's pretty much it there. You can see when I arm it, and it's in angle mode. It tries to level itself because it's in angle mode. And then if I put it in acro, now it'll just keep going, you know, the way it should be. So, yep, that's pretty much it. Got it all set up. And that's it. So, of course, the receiver is the XM Plus uh, 16 channel. S bus receiver, which I had to solder those pins onto, which I did a live stream and took me an hour. <laughs> and then uh, I have it set to, of course, in here, I have it set to D16 mode in my transmitter. Uh, yes, D16 mode right here. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching this video, and hope this helped you with something. Uh, if it did, please leave a comment and tell me what it helped with. Probably didn't because I'm a noob and I just figured this stuff out, which is probably really simple for everybody else. Anyways, <laughs> thank you for watching the video and uh, goodbye. Have a great day.